course. And now then, tip. Of course, there'd have to be little visits, say, to Scrivens to legalise things, but that wouldn't be too painful, would it? Or make them pay for what they did to Lucy. Now, dear, you listen to me. It's our time you forgot all about them morbid fancies. Your Lucy's gone. Poor thing. You're well in now. Here, have a bum bum. Hmm. You know, after 17 years, this bit seems to be poor Albert Pestle. Don't be harsh and marriage in the right, you know. Mr. Tom! Mr. Tom! I found her. You found your mother? The monster of a judge has her locked away in a madhouse. Where? Where? Where no one can reach her. Mr. Falls is silent. Mr. Tom, she's in there with those screeching, gibbering maniacs. A madhouse. A madhouse. Joanna is as good as found. Yes? Where do you suppose all the wingmakers in London go to attain their human head? The nose, dear. The morgue wouldn't be surprised. Bedlam. They go to the hair, they get the hair from the lunatics at Bedlam. Then you think? Forbes Asylum. Why not? For the right amount, they'll save the hair off any madman's head. And the scouts go with it too, if requested. Excuse me, gentlemen. I'm out. We will write a letter to this Mr. Fogg, offering the highest price for the air, exact shade of dryness, which I trust you know. Together. Not exact enough. It must make you into a credible wig maker, and fast. <laughs> Thank you. 